guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> so today i'm going to be doing a playground transformation yes yes and we get to slide and have fun and just <laughs> yes for the longest time i've been trying to do an outdoor playground for these kids um i ended up buying i succeeded in buying um what they call it inflatable pool but the problem with the pool is that we don't have sun most times. It's, it's been raining like almost endlessly in Port Harcourt. Even when it's not. Mommy, Let me bring my phone. Mommy, can you. Can we build? Yes, we'll build it. Let me finish talking, talking to them. Okay? <laughs> you know, you know the fear, huh? Eh? These children, no atom of fear. Eh, uh, eh, she's shy. Who is shy? Eva. Eva. Anyway, so as I was saying, I bought outdoor Eva. Eh, Chukuna. This child. <laughs> I bought outdoor pool, but rain has been falling, so they can't even play with the pool. Like even when there's no rain, the weather is dull. Like right now, the weather is dull. So I decided to make a proper playground for them so i bought a slide i'm actually let me bring the slide so um i'll show you guys clips of the place where we're going to put the um playground that is yes. the slides and other stuff i'm going to get i'll show you guys the place um before and after so yeah the playground is being cleared right now um i told uh Gatesman to help us buy sand sharp sand that is that normal smooth sand so that we can put it there for them to play so when they bring the sand i will sort out stones any stones that are left in the sand and spread it there and yeah then we'll take our slide there i'm going to buy sand toys i'm going to just make the place very nice so that when those kids too are over here they can play outdoors you know without worry <laughs> so are you excited to see your playground yes yes so are you going to invite your friends Yes. Who are you going to invite? I guess we invite Kaima. Only Kaima. Who are you going to invite? Kobe. Kobe. Mm -hmm. Ah, what of Kaito? Mm -mm. You don't want Kaito. Mm -hmm. You want only Kobe. You want Kobe. Mm -hmm. Okay, me. I'm inviting Kaito and Kaima. <laughs> I'm, inviting... I'm inviting Kaito and Adana. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's already getting, you know, ready. So we're going to remove those plants. There, those are bitter leaf plants that we had here before. But yeah, 
we're not going to be planting bitter okay i think i'll transplant the bitter leaves that were here to the farm i'm just going to make here a proper playground anyway so right now i need to go and buy fuel i need to also go and buy sand toys and i need to also what else i need to do it's just buy fuel and buy okay market i need to go and buy food food stuff for my kids food so yeah i'll see you guys later We came to buy. Um, Cora, what did you? Why did you come to buy? We came to buy sand toys, and um, from here, we're going to buy flowers. But that's not what this vlog is about, right? Yeah. <laughs> the sand toy thing, and I bought toy cars for the boys and girl in my house. Because I didn't drag me out and I cannot come into a shop like this and not buy it. But see, I'm even so, talking sorry. to myself. Don't talk to me again. Do not talk to me again. I forgot. <laughs> look more alive Okay, so this is going to be their play area. We fill this with sand. Hi guys, Sister Inkechi here. <laughs> Anytime I tie scarf or wear my turban, I don't know why I feel like one uh, Sister Mary of God. Anyway, hi guys, how are you guys doing? Oh, these birds are making noise. So, yeah, we're done filling the. Yeah, so we're done filling. Should I put camera for you so that you vlog your vlog? <laughs> I think they responded to me. Um, the sand is wet, so what I might do is put a big um, plastic bag, like the plastic that um, Cora's match house was wrapped in. I'll put it under where they will slide into because the way it is now, if they slide into the sand, it's going to stain their clothes and they're not really dressed for you know this kind of outdoor play. For wet outdoor play, they're not, they're not dressed for wet sand. Let me put it that way. So that's what I might end up doing. If not, then we'll wait for when the sun comes up and dries the sand so they can play. I'm actually happy that um I'm actually happy that what is the name? I'm actually happy that rain fell because I wanted the rain to wash the sand somehow. <laughs> I don't know because I feel like because I don't know where the sand is coming from. So let the rain wash the sand a bit so that they can play in it and I won't, I won't be scared of anything. But anyway, um yeah.
happened to me yesterday, which I'd like to talk to you guys about, okay? Yeah, so after I had Eva, I gave out every freaking baby thing I had in this house. Every, when I say every, I mean every. The only thing that I did not even give out was the crib because of its size. It was just too big. People wanted to give it to, they don't have the space for it. So I wanted to even sell it at some point, but I didn't even make enough effort to sell it. And you know, and I wasn't able to even sell it. So that's the only thing that is still in this house. Every other thing I gave it out to, car seat, to breast pump, sterilizer, high chair, um what else play pen um everything i just give out every baby thing here clothes shoes everything that just that my children used from zero to you know their age now everything that they were not using i gave everything out and now i'm pregnant again okay so yesterday i was just like ah I need to start making my list too. I like to make a list and then start buying things small, small before, you know, my due date. I don't like to do last minute buying, especially since I buy most of my things from America. At least, well, my kids, the ones that I gave out, I bought them from America and then dollar was still cheap. That's why I was able to buy them. Now, dollar is expensive, but at least I can buy one or two things from America so that they will get here before, you know, the baby is born and stuff like that, okay? Or even just around, but I need to start getting things in order before you know way before time in fact that this one is even late <laughs> when i was pregnant with color i did not have work i didn't have anything to think about i was just alone with myself you guys <laughs> as at 17 weeks i had finished buying everything i needed to buy for the child 17 weeks 17 weeks anyway so with this baby like yeah yesterday i just told myself that ah, i don't want time to pass me by and i don't want last minute buying and i don't want you know stressful buying that you don't have you don't have to buy things in bulk at once so let me make a list but my brain was blank it's almost like i've never taken care of children before like i've never had newborn babies in my house before i didn't know what to buy <laughs> i did not know nothing could come to my head the only thing i was thinking about is okay overalls okay what else babies use? What else babies wear? So yesterday, I was just telling my sister how I don't have a list, nothing, nothing. I don't even know where to start from. Like my brain is just blank. She said that there was a list that I sent to her while she was pregnant that she would just forward the list back to me. That in fact, she had even sent that list to more than nine people or so. And I was so excited because... Yes, I can easily go online and go and research a newborn baby list or baby registry or whatever. I can do that, but the problem I have with doing that online is that most of the things they write there, or some of the things they write there, are not necessary, co-necessary. Why do I need a wipes warmer? Why do I need to warm wipes to clean my baby's bum bum? <laughs> I don't stay in America or where the weather is cold. And even if it's in Nigeria, it's only AC that can make the, the wipes cold. Because there's some mornings that, yes, when you bring out the wipes from, the, you know, the, the park, you find that the wipes are cold, okay? What I do is I... Put the wipes in my hand and hold and you know hold them like this for a while and they become warm and i clean the baby's bum bum you know so a lot of things that they write in all those their lists are just things that we don't really need in nigeria even though yes the list acts as a guide but the list that i made i gave my sister was list that i was very sure that she was going to use every every single thing in that list the only thing that i knew that okay she might not use is if you choose to either um, formula feed if you choose not to breastfeed and you choose to formula feed then some things in the list you won't use them. If you choose to formula feed and not breastfeed, some things in the list you will not use them, okay? So only the feeding part that I had a more comprehensive um, list. But for every other thing, I put the list in categories like for feeding, for sleeping, for pooping, for bathing, for, you know, dressing out, for going out. I put I put the list in categories and I wrote things that were absolutely necessary because, you know, as new moms, especially first-time moms, you just going to be buying, buying. When they say, Buy this one, you will buy. Buy that one, you will buy. So I made a very comprehensive list that had the important stuff in it. And I sent it to my sister then, not knowing that one day I was going to need that list and she was going to send it back to me, okay? That's the good thing about sharing. And why this thing, you know, why it amazed me or why I, I was happy about it is because this is not the first time it's happening. There was one time that um somebody asked me online that someone on facebook she reached out to me even though she came through a cunning way but she reached out to me that, ah, that i made then i was selling chin chin i told you guys i was i, I used to sell chin chin before so then i was selling chin chin so she now asked me that can i please send her my recipe for chin chin and this recipe mind you i paid money to learn it though not only did i pay money to learn it after i i learned it i tweaked so many things in it to perfect the recipe to my taste buds and people really liked the perfected recipe more than the older one okay so if i wanted to be stingy or if i wanted to not even stingy because i mean it's my craft or it's, it's my business if i wanted to be like normal human be, 
human beings. I would have asked her to pay for it or I would have, you know, just given her one nonsense recipe, which, which many people do actually. They won't give you the correct thing in the correct... They won't tell you exactly what they use to make what they make, you know. Which I don't still blame them because... Like I said, it's your business, and there's so many business secrets that people keep to themselves, okay? So, but when they reached out to me and asked me, I said, well, I don't have anything to lose by sharing this recipe with her. I now shared the recipe with her. Not only did I share the recipe with her, I wrote step by step how to make it, like step by step. I remember that I was typing, I was tired of typing, but I said, I started that I have to finish, you know? So, not only did I share the recipe with her, I shared it step by step how she could make the exact chin chin that I was making, exactly everything, I shared everything exactly the way it, it, I used to do it, okay? So one time after some like one or two years, I wanted to make the chin chin again and mind you, I had stopped making the chin chin for a very long time. So I wanted to make the chin chin again but I had forgotten some things, I had forgotten some, you know, quantities, you know, because my own chin chin is not, I don't eyeball anything, like every single Thing I added in my chin chin was measured down to salt. It's not like a pinch of salt, no. I used tablespoon and um, teaspoon to measure the accurate um, amount of salt that I needed for the chin chin and all that and all that. Anyway, so when it was not time to make the chin chin, now nah, I don't forget recipe. It's been a while since I did this, <laughs> you know. And I was just like, oh, how do I not get the recipe back? The book where I wrote my recipe at home, I think while we were moving, I lost the book. So I was just like, ah, what would I do? I now remember that. You remember you shared this thing to somebody on Facebook? I now went to Facebook. I went to search because it was an old message. I went to search, you know, messages until I found her, her exact um you know mess uh, our chat and that was how i was able to get my chin chin recipe back okay this one she wasn't the one that sent it to me i went back to where i had sent it and i got it back anyway i said all this to say you don't lose anything by sharing you actually gain in the long run by sharing even if you don't get anything at least you made somebody happy you've helped somebody's life easier you've made somebody's life easier okay so yeah i was really excited about this this sharing thing is part of why i actually eventually ended up on YouTube. It started from blogging. If you guys don't know, I used to be a blogger. I had a blog. Oh, I still have a blog, but I run it. In fact, long story why I left blogging. But yeah, I had a blog then. And on that, my, the reason why I started that blog was because I noticed then I used to go online to research a lot of things, a lot. So I'll go online, I'll type in things I want to research or, you know, just entertain me. I just want to watch, read something. I want to just, just to read a blog post or something. Every single entry I came across was sh something shared by an Oibo person, either an American or a British. It was always Oibo people that we are sharing things online. You had it's not now that you, you go online and search how to make a Wedu soup and you see it. No, then you hardly see things like that. The few people who we are blogging there were like I can remember, I can remember Dima. That's Ibo Chick. I can remember Linda Ikeji. I can remember CCME. I can remember Wife's Connection blog. I can remember uh, Chinazo Eze. I can remember Chinazo Eze was blushes and dimples. Her own was makeup too. I can remember the engineer, the makeup engineer or something, or the fashion engineer. It's one late girl that finished from CU. She was an en engineering student then and she was also doing makeup um, blogs and all that, you know. And even then, even when you go and search for something, you their post hardly came up because there were very few of them, you know. So yeah, that was not like ah, if Nigerians don't come online to say things, how are we going to leave things for the next generation to learn? And that was why I started blogging, okay. And then eventually, like most people, eventually somehow somehow I ended up to me being on YouTube. So yeah, that's just it though. You guys always share. Don't be stingy. Don't be a stingy cocker. If you close your hands to give, you will not, your hands will not be open to receive. <laughs> Is that how they say it? I can't remember. But if your fists are closed to give people, your fists are also going to be closed to receive from people. Okay, yeah. So anyway, yeah, let me go back to writing list and trying to find out what I need to buy for this baby. See, baby things are expensive, you guys. Oh my God. All of you that like four children, five children, six children, seven children, how are they do that? Baby things are freaking expensive now. I was checking onesies, pack of onesies, and I saw whether oh, seven thousand I'll be waiting. I said, I don't understand. For onesie, just normal onesie, seven thousand for a pack, pack of three or so. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Um, my kids love their playgrounds. In fact, 
I'm so happy that I made that playground for them because anytime my head is full, I'll chase them. Oh, yeah, people should go and play. And they can play for hours in the sand. They can, when I say hours, I mean they know the tire. Is it that rain will chase them away or hunger will bring them in? In fact, hunger hardly brings them in. Is it that it's rain or it's when I'm tired and I'm just like, okay, that's it. All of you should come inside, go and have your bath, okay? So I'm really, really happy about that playground. I'm, I'll try and get more toys for them so that they can, you know, do other stuff there and yeah that's it thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys Mwah.